what's going on guys it's your girl Dina Gray and I'm back with another video for you guys if no one told you guys today I love you and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter let's get into your reading so there's this couple here that they both want to leave they've been going through so much they've been going through so much arguing so much disagreements so much unhealthy um arguments and and situations around the children so much hovering over one another no trust someone um is feeling like they can't trust or there's arguments that's what caused the arguments there's a lack of trust here you guys you know again nothing but just a lack of support a lack of understanding and a lack of you know just security here on both parties i feel like just this feminine may be dealing with uh this situation differently and emotionally different than this uh, mask and i feel like this this um feminine deals with her emotions and whenever she's going through this upheaval cry she's more emotional but this masculine may be more of a person that just walks out and leave but there's a lot of unhealthy um uh, practices and and decision making going on here and the, the messed up thing is that the children is involved or both of you guys been dealing with this as children and it's attracting and manifesting as an adult you could take it how it resonates make sure you switch the energies around but there's a lack of trust lack of trust no honesty fidelity is what i'm hearing and betrayal all right but i feel like both of you guys know the time is up I feel like both of you guys know that. I feel like there's no judging here. I feel like both of you guys know that the time is running out. And the only reason why y'all continue to try to make this work is because y'all been together for so long. I feel like the only reason why y'all stay in this relationship and try to make things work is because a lot of time and effort and a lot of it, a lot of things are invested. In this connection not only time children assets money family it's a lot especially if y'all marry because money money going money going have to start coming out your pockets if y'all want to get a divorce which i see happening and if y'all not divorced y'all will be getting a separation all right but y'all both want this y'all both know that the time is up Y'all both know that. Y'all both feel it. All right? I don't even know where the time card at. See? That tells me, oh, here it goes. But that is the only reason why. Because if it wasn't time or mad, a, a lot of stuff, you know, um, involved, mends it in this relationship is what I'm getting. Y'all would have been called it quits. Y'all would have been closer quick because both of y'all not happy. One is emotionally disturbed and unsupported. And one is just tired of the argument and just ready to go. And the kids is, is, is being affected. Or you guys were kids watching this. And again, it's manifesting. I feel like every time both of you guys choose to leave, one of you guys choose to leave, both of you guys are trying to stop each other. Which is the weird part. Both of you guys are trying to stop each other. So it's like... Y'all don't want to be together. Y'all really hate each other at times. But y'all allowing time to prevent y'all from making the decision of this Ace of Cups. And this is overjoy. Over, overjoy of happiness. Emotional fulfillment. Contentment. Nurturing. So y'all both at fault here. If y'all want to talk about you know, feelings. This is y'all cup of love. Every time one of you guys choose to leave, to go chase this cup of love, which is y'all y'all inspiration and y'all dreams, one is saying no, don't go. And then one is saying no. See, you is more emotional, divine feminine. This masculine be ready to be out. And both of y'all stop each other. So y'all can sit here and act like y'all don't. But if this reading is resonating, y'all know I'm telling the truth. Because I don't know nothing about y'all relationship. Y'all both stop each other. 
every time y'all going to fulfill y'all heart, y'all stop each other because y'all scared. Y'all scared because y'all put so much time and effort in what y'all thought it could be. Y'all got children involved. Some of y'all scared because y'all think y'all going to lose y'all money. But that's the only reason. Because other than that, it's complete havoc and chaos and disturbing energies and sadness and grief. All right? Again, this divine feminine is more... You know, of an energy of wanting to work on her bag, her money, her relationships more. And that's why she's ready to go. And this masculine is ready to be by himself because he more wants of a person. He, he wants more of a personal life. So you see how y'all mirroring each other. Y'all ready to go. Y'all just scared of what's going to happen. Like, again, y'all got a lot of invest. Y'all got a lot invested involved. And plus the kids. But both of y'all want to be single. These are two single people. This masculine is ready to go and be himself. This masculine, I don't even think, ready wants to be in a committed relationship. They are just ready to be a bachelor and ready to have their own journey. And this feminine is working on her money and her family and more of a, a relationship aspect, all right? But both of them just want to literally reach out and go towards their happiness. The Nine of Cups speaks all about happiness. These people want to be single, but they might not tell, tell each other that. Or sometimes they want to be single and then the next they don't. That's the spirit of confusion around y'all. Because the spirit of confusion know if you go chase this cup of love individual, individually, y'all don't know what might turn out. Y'all don't know if y'all could go grow back together. But these people want to be single here. The Nine of Pentacles is all about being single. And a, and, a, and a Knight of Wands is all about being single and wanting to be on that journey. And both of them want to go towards their happiness right here. Single. They don't want to do this. But they've been involved for so long. Probably years. Decades. They don't even know what life is like without each other. But they know life is not supposed to be this. All right? I see, again, this masculine wants to go. I'm going to give it to y'all, bro. This masculine wants to go. This masculine feels like it's a mental prison and that they always arguing and um, defending their decision makings and they just, they're just ready. This woman also is ready to just go to, you see how y'all mirroring each other like y'all ready to go. Y'all, y'all wasting nothing but precious time because you know what's happening? The more y'all keep fighting each other for going is the more y'all delaying y'all both healing process. To come back together. Or y'all delaying each other's healing process to meet y'all real person. The more y'all wasting time. Alright. But one feels like they in a mental prison. That they don't even know how to get out. And I think it's this woman. She don't know how to get out. And this masculine ready to go. He may not know how to get out. But he's ready. Alright. So. At first. This relationship felt so blessed. It felt safe. Y'all felt secure. And a lot of blissful and blissful energy was around, around this relationship, okay? But something stopped y'all from going a distance. Something stopped y'all from going a distance. Y'all never made it to the finish line in this connection. And, and I don't think y'all will because things are up in the ear. Things are up in the ear right now. Spirit is saying take a nap. Take a nap from this connection and a nap from mending things. Y'all been trying to mend things. Y'all been trying to make things work. 855 on the clock. Y'all been trying to make things work. Y'all been trying to mend things. Y'all been trying to do all things. And Spirit is saying the kids is being affected here if y'all got kids. Or this is what you are attracting because y'all haven't healed from your trauma. And as a kid. In which I saw. But Spirit is saying take a nap from this relationship. And stop trying to heal things. Stop trying to go the extra distance. Because Spirit got this relationship up in the air for a reason. It's not supposed to cross the finish line. It is a karmic relationship. Y'all supposed to learn from each other. Here. That's what's supposed to go on. Y'all supposed to learn from each other. What's the advice for the divine feminine? Spirit. Only clear and precise messages. Only true. Downloads please. What's the advice for the divine feminine that's going through this in this message and reading? So divine feminine, your advice is to continue to go after your dreams and aspirations. Continue to close out cycles and go after what you believe in. And if you feel like you're supposed to leave this relationship because it's overwhelming and it's, it's not serving you no purpose, 
Find ways to have help. Seek out help. But you, you, you need to go after the world. Go after everything that you call the world and your desires here. What's the um, the advice for the divine masculine? I'm hearing courage. What's the advice for the divine masculine? Go after your dreams. You see how crazy this is? Y'all both need to go because y'all stopping your own dreams. Y'all don't want to be together. Y'all know time is running out and y'all just together for other kids or long term. Like y'all just been together for just for, for a while. Devon Masculine, your advice is to go after your dreams and Devon Feminine, yours is to go after your dreams. This is a masculine card and this is a feminine card. Don't you see how spirit is talking to you? Devon Masculine, this is you in your masculine role. The, the sun is a masculine energy. Devon Feminine, look at you in the middle of all your dreams and aspirations. This is a feminine energy. These cards never lie. And this is both of y'all individual advice. Now, this is going to be both of y'all by advice together, whatever's under the, under the deck. Look, y'all need to go forward and collaborate and celebrate with other people that's going to make y'all happy. And if not, y'all need to go through this healing process and leave so that way y'all can heal and y'all can come back into union. Y'all only delaying this because y'all making something work that's not supposed to cross the finish line. It's not supposed to cross. Y'all been going a distance. Y'all been going a distance. Spirit is saying, hang it up. Hang it up the drive for a little while. Let it drench out throughout all of this stuff. So that way y'all can either come back into union and celebrate. Or y'all can celebrate and meet the people that's supposed to really be in y'all lives. I love you guys.